Hey YouTube, just hey YouTube, just one nine twelve here. Um, this video I'm gonna show you how to um, downgrade your bass band. Um, I'm downgrading the bass band um, on the iPhone, this iPhone three G. It's real simple. This um, I, this iPhone three G was was bricked as well too. Um, it was stuck on the iTunes logo and it was never able to get out of it. So this video is going to show you how to downgrade your bass band. I am using Red Snow, the latest Red Snow 0 0.914 B, I think Beta 2. You know, I'm telling you, um, d downgrading is easy and also, what is it? Uh, downgrading is easy and also, um, what? Um, breaking phone, breaking iPhones is totally easy. So if you need help me down break your phone, I'll do it. Too e so e easy. Um, I break twice, two phones so far. I mean, I fixed it, break phones so far. I actually, break uh, fixed it three. But I fixed one two days ago. It was stuck. That one was stuck on the Apple logo, and this one was stuck on the iTunes logo. So simple. It's really not even hard. It's too easy. I'm surprised everyone having trouble how to fit. You know how to fix on break phone. It's kind of ridiculous. But hey, let's get started and just go on next. You know, make sure you turn off your, um, make sure you turn off your phone. Sorry, but, sorry, but, um, I'm kind of recording a little off different. Let's just slide that out. And this procedure will also help. This will make it easier for you to unlock your um, iPhone as well, too. So that's also good. So you get a chance to unlock your iDevice, and you will be able to restore the GPS feature on your phone, which is also a good thing too. So, real simple. Everything takes. After it says done, there everything's going to take place within the device. It's just real simple. It's not even hard. So yeah, now I'm doing all this. I mean, I know, I know this is gonna take about what they say about on the little thing. It takes about what six to seven minutes, or no, seven to nine minutes, or even ten minutes as max. So I'm just gonna probably leave the iPhone down. I mean, it's done now. I mean, done doing the business. Trying to get enough height on here. Hmm. Let me see what I can do. Um, yeah. So you just let it sit there for a minute.
so see yeah, so far so good taking these about like what another four minutes so like if you guys hope this video helped anybody I do highly recommend you should you know downgrade your baseband to make it easier to you know unlock your eye device this is awesome. like it says on 3G like I said this phone was this iPhone 3G was bricked um I currently you know work at you know just working at a um, little um, store that helps you know on break phones and try to change the screens and all that um I'm, I'm not that pretty good at changing screens but you know I'm trying I'm, you know what I'm saying stuff like that takes practice so and this is actually what I wanted to do hopefully I get more money out of it too soon when things go right so like I said, this everything is pretty easy. It's really not all that hard. You just go to technically just go into YouTube. You know, like what you're doing now, and they're really not all that hard. So, you know, of course, it takes practice. You know, trust me, I got sick and tired of kept messing up everybody's phones, thinking that I knew what I was doing, but I don't. So, so if the person gives me another eye. If the person gives me an iPhone, more likely I, I know he probably would. And if it's break, I will make a video how to unbreak your iPhone 3G or 3GS. It's real simple. So, so everybody out there can know how to do it. Definitely for that person that says the thing is stuck on the Apple logo. So if you're stuck on the Apple logo, keep your phone because it's not. You don't need to throw it away. It's actually an easy way to fix it. So I bet. Trust me, I've been doing this for for a few years. I've been doing it for a minute. So you know, I know what I'm doing. So. So you can see right there that um it start it just got done um boot back up. So I don't know. It didn't take it honestly it didn't feel like it took all that long, like eight minutes or not. But Let's see what what they downgraded to. Five point thirteen oh four. Okay, I got my um I have my iPhone three G S with me as well. So I'm finna um see is that the exact same? So this is my iPhone 3G on the um, right. This iPhone 3G. So it's both of them live to the same. So that means I can have service on both of them. I mean, service on this one too. So um, I'm going to have to need to get me a scoot. No, not a screwdriver. Uh, what is it? Paper clip to test it out. You know, see if it's legit. And more than likely, I know it is. So hopefully, you guys can bear with me for a moment. Thank you guys for you know waiting patiently. I really do appreciate it. All right, now I'm gonna get to continue on um, with the taking the SIM card out on my iPhone 3G S and putting it into the iPhone 3G. More than likely, it should work. See, it's having a little difficulties just shoot finding the data. Uh, probably gotta um, go to Ultra Snow and install Ultra Snow again, or reinstall it or whatever. This is on a, a it is on an older model, so probably you know 
things work a little different on it. I do apologize. Honestly, I thought this was going to work. Downgraded the basement and did what I was supposed to do. I don't see what's the issue, to be honest. Okay, I need to, probably do need to reinstall um, Ultra Snow again so it can take effect. So let me take out the SIM card. Wait, uh, Ultra Snow wasn't installed there in the first place. Wow, no what no wonder that it was wasn't unlocked. How stupid of me. Sorry, it does take a while since it's his iPhone 3G. So, hopefully, like, selfie this video helps you out. I know I'm not completely finished with the video. So, you know, please, like I said, bear with me. I'm sorry for, you know, all the delays. I really didn't really meant for it to happen. I don't see what's taking us so long just to find out the snow. If I have to add a source, I might have to do that. But at least you guys know how to, you know, and install a what is it, an iPad, you know, downgrade a, um, you know, the baseband. So, okay, here it is. Now I'm gonna go install it. Ultra Snow. And this latest Ultra Snow 1.2.7. You don't need the Ultra Snow fixer, you know, because the fixer probably is not compatible for 4.1. I think the lowest compatible is iOS 5.1. I mean, 5.0 is the lowest, so you really don't need to fix it. This latest Ultra Snow should help you do the trick. And this downgrading the baseband, like I said, you should downgrade it. Like I said, you have a like whole lot of features just by downgrading your baseband again. It's much more safer, and you also don't have to worry about it being bricked in the first place. So that could be a whole lot of reasons why too that some of your, some of you guys iPhones are bricked. So and then now you once since it's um the the baseband is downgraded. You can use the stock um, IPSW. I mean, yeah, the stock uh, firmware. So that means you can just go rest restore it, and without worrying about it being brick, you don't have to go download a custom IPSU and do a custom restore, as they call it. So, for that being said, like I said, just um, just downgrade your baseband. I believe that's the best bet for everybody right now. I notice um iPhone 3GS 3G do take a while to uh, respring, but never mind. I think that was the previous version of the firmware. Cause I had firstly installed 3.1.3, .3, but um for some reason you couldn't really um install like you, I mean you couldn't um be you can't couldn't be unlocked even though I install I um put Ultra Snow in there just cause of the firmware is too low or something. So there ain't no SIM card in here now, so I'm going to put a SIM card in there. Hopefully it reads it up. I installed it with the snow already. Probably going to have to reboot it. I turn it off and turn it back on. Try to turn it off. Yeah, sorry about this whole time delay. I mean, they say you really should reboot it right after it, but she is like that. I'm sorry for the delay. Hopefully, when it turns right back on, is good. Um, the service will pop up. I mean, I really didn't mean to make it like an almost close to 18 minute video over. Over things that I obviously should have known to do before. It's just, this honestly, it really is sad, and I'm technically wasting your guys' time. That really doesn't look good. It really doesn't. So, like I said, please excuse me, you know, for this delay. 
I mean, much, trust me, it's much more. I mean, having an um, iPhone 3GS is much more easy than this iPhone, iPhone 3Gs, for sure. So, hopefully you guys can, you know, bear with me. And please forgive me for my, you know, mistakes. Like I said, nobody's perfect, but, you know, some of this stuff I should already know, which is kind of sad. But please forgive me. All right, there you have it. On the finally, yeah. So you have to re, re um, what is it? Respring, not respring, but restore. No, like reboot and re after you finish install, just know, make sure you do um reboot or turn off your power off. For the most part, turn it off, turn it back on. Then the um, things will come. You know, the uh unlock will come into effect. So sorry, sorry about that. Hopefully, you know. Hopefully you forgive me for me, you know, wasting so much time over something that I should already know. It's kind of sad, but, you know, like I said, you know, at the end of the day, at least the phone is unlocked and it's ready to rock and roll, ready to load, and, you, and I can give it back to the person, or say give it back to the boss, you know. And honestly, I really, you know, I really like doing it. It's real easy. It's so fun. It's, you know, I should already know this stuff by now, but, you know, it's fun. I should have really actually enabled, um, what is it? Enable, what is it? Um, I should enable, uh, battery percentage, but I'm gonna do that, you know, on my spare time. I'm not gonna try to waste as much, waste any more time because I wasted technically 18 minutes over stuff that I should already knew. If I knew by now, the process would be much more quicker. So, you know, so that being said, it really is whatever, but, um, Thank you, um, thank you guys, thank you for bearing with me. It's just one nine eight twelve here and peace.